This is a 2011 Dodge Ram 1500. We'll be replacing the front hub bearings as well as the speed sensor. So for today's job, we're gonna need an 18 millimeter socket, 21 millimeter, a number five, I believe it's number five, number five Allen to remove the speed sensor, a swivel and extension. You don't really need this long of extension if you're not using an impact gun and tighten everything back down. Uh, a flathead just for some added leverage just for using the pry bar or you can use a bigger one pry bar and impact gun with the socket, the cording socket to the lug nuts that hold in the tire. This will vary depending on what you have. This car has some big wheels on it so they change the lug nut pattern on it. So that's gonna be switched up a little. But for the most part, these are the tools you're gonna need. Obviously a ratchet with it or a breaker bar. So first thing we're gonna do to get to replace the wheel bearing or hub bearing is we're gonna obviously remove the tire. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the tire and expose the whole thing and we'll get to do it. So I kind of jumped the gun, sorry about that. Um, after you remove the tire, we're gonna go ahead and remove the caliper, the whole bracket. It's held in place by two 21 millimeter bolts, one here and one below. <laughs> like I said, I kind of jumped the gun. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove those. And uh, once I remove that, I'll go ahead and take the caliper off with the brake still in there. Uh, if it gives you a hard time, just kind of put a pry bar or a flathead right under here and just pick it up and come right out. Once you've removed the brake caliper, just throw it to the side, just throw it right on top of the upper control arm. The um, <coughs> rotors just come right off. If not, just uh, spray WD-40 around it and knock it from the back with a mallet. Once you remove the rotor, just come to the back and remove four, I'm sorry, three 18 millimeter bolts, one there obviously, one located right here, and the top one at the top, I mean, sorry, the last one at the top right here, as you can see. Uh, so, and before you actually completely take it off, with the number five Allen, go ahead and remove that Allen there, and remove the speed sensor. So, remove the speed sensor first, then using an 18 millimeter, remove those three bolts holding the hub bearing in place. All right, so as you can see, I got the hub bearing, wheel bearing removed. Um, the three bolts, I just kind of left them in place there just because this part will come off as well. I just want to leave it there. You can see our speed sensor here as well. Just left that alone as well. So pretty much all we gotta do is install the new uh, wheel slash hub bearing and we'll be done. So my new um, hub bearing set actually came with a new speed sensor. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this one. Just pull it through here. Um, you can unclip this right here. However, mine comes with the whole new clip, everything. So just get a flat head or whatever, pry it out. Uh, here you are, just taking off this part. And then from behind here, let's see. It's actually gonna be located right here, this white one is. Um, you'll kind of feel it. You can take it off if you like. But really, you can just feel around for where the tabs meet and just kind of take it off. Uh, I'm gonna need two of my hands for this one, but you get the gist. So it's just directly right there. So go ahead and unplug that and we'll get the hub bearing set to go in. So I have my hub bearing in place right now. I haven't tightened it down, just kind of threaded the bolts in or behind it. I uh, went ahead and just ran my speed sensor through, put it back in here it in here and I actually went ahead and took it out so you can see it. So if you were to leave it in there, um, the tab you would press would be on the right side of it. So it'd be sitting like this, you just kind of push right here. So I'm going and plug that back up. Everything is difficult with one hand. <laughs> So yeah, plug it back up so you hear that clip, like so, and just kind of run it back in there and place it back in that hole. And um, so it does hang right here. I'm not entirely sure there's supposed to be like something for this part to go into. I'm just gonna zip tie it right here just so it doesn't get a damage. Just zip that to the brake line. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this down and then we'll get our rotor back in place and then set our caliper back in. So I've tightened my hub bearing down and placed my rotor on. Uh, be sure to put a couple bolts on it just to hold it in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my caliper to be placed in. 
Uh, if your brake pad's shifted, just kind of move the bracket around. Uh, let's see if I can show it up like so. See it moves, just so the ears will sit inside the grooves of the bracket. Once you do that, you can go ahead and try to slide it on to the rotor. So just be sure that they are in the ears and you can always you know, move, shift it back and forth. Um, it just makes it a lot easier and when you're putting it down. So let's go ahead and get this in. So with li little leverage, I was able to get the caliper in pretty easily, uh, pretty much. Just kind of slide one part in, the top part, and slide the other, and then hit the other one down. Like, not hit it, but like slide it down. And, um, you can slide the top in and match it up with the um, 21 millimeter bolt in the back and just get that in place. Then a little more force, put it down here to equal it up. So I've already gone ahead and bolted it all down. Everything is good now. So I'm going to go ahead and just put the tire on and we'll be done. So thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. And like always, more videos to come.